Hello my friends, Stark here. Today is the 14th of April, 2016. This is a customer's car, a 1967 Mercedes-Benz 250 SL. And I thought that we would take a walk about the car before I return it to my customer this evening. This was here for general servicing and some of the work that we executed included new engine oil and filter, transmission oil and filter, rear axle oil, spark plugs, spark plug wires, air filter, distributor cap, rotor, front brake calipers, front brake pads, front brake lines, beautiful dashboard and a funky steering wheel Under the hood, we fitted a new battery, new hood safety latch, and a new hood torsion rod. At least that's what I'm calling it. I don't know what the official Mercedes-Benz name is. It's an interesting design. This, this rod is held under torsion. It bends into an L shape on the right side of the hood and then it slips into a, uh, a plastic slide here and it's the tension of this rod which holds the hood upright a little windy today 2.5 liter Mercedes-Benz straight six engine fuel injected Bosch fuel injection pump, big, it looks like a diesel pump. Cool light on the dashboard for when the door is ajar. Ignition. I like the gnarly, spider-like intake manifold. Well, all right, let's take it for a test drive. Is there a seatbelt? Oh, yeah.
in hindsight, I wish I'd raised the car on the lift for you because it would have explained why this little car is so extraordinarily heavy. It's really built like the proverbial tank underneath. Massive chassis, enormous X-frame construction. The drive shaft, which we also greased, runs through that central X-frame. Just a, a huge amount of metalwork underneath the vehicle. That's why it's so heavy to push it. And perhaps why it doesn't have too much go. I don't know, I think these were available with larger engines, but this one just has the little 2.5 liter. Sorry, I'm not doing roadside service right now. She steers nice, drives nice. A little bit of a whine from the rear axle, but we did change the rear axle oil, so we've done the best that we could. Brakes are a little bit juddery, but I didn't replace the front discs because they were so expensive. I'll explain that to the owner and he can make a decision whether he wants to go ahead with front disc replacement. Get a lot of looks in this car. See the speedometer is calibrated only to kilometers per hour. So I'm traveling a little over 80 kilometers per hour, certainly not 80 miles per hour. let's see what she's got but we won't be doing any burnouts here this is an old car and we want to be at least a trifle respectful That's plenty fast enough. Take it back down to the legal limit. The temperature monitor still shows good. So the engine didn't get too excited about that. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you next time.